Hey, so have you ever purchased, or let's not say purchased, have you ever gone to the local Macy's, smelled some perfumes, and there was one that was brand new, just released, and you smelled it, and you were like, mm, really not hitting me right now. And then you leave, and then one year later you come back, you smell it again, and you're like, this is good. Well, today's show, we're going to talk about one of those fragrances that hit me just right this year. I'll see you when we get back. Hi, everyone. This is Leslie Suzette and Sprongly Natural here. All things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. I have one goal. That goal is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves both inside and out. So today I'm excited about sharing this content. Like I said earlier, went to the local Macy's last year, maybe around this time. Yeah, I believe sometime around this time, the new release was a, you know, everybody was trying to get it. But then I heard so many things about the fragrance. Oh, it smells like something I've smelled before. How many times have you heard that? Oh, it smells like this. It smells like this. Oh, it's not that great. And I, I myself went and smelled this fragrance. And I was like, it's nice. And I left. I ended up getting something else. Well, my friend, Miss Shirley over at Macy's. Mwah, I love you, darling. We went back and we just started smelling more fragrances. First of all, she helped me get that Voce Viva, honey. And I'm loving it, Miss Shirley. I love it. I love it. And I love you. But this time, my husband's like, you sure you don't want anything else? And we were like, Miss Shirley's like, oh, he's offering. He's offering. And we went back to this. You all, Prada Paradox. Prada Paradox. Bye. <laughs> As I said, Prada. And you all, this is an unboxing for me. I'm going to share it with you. We're going to smell it again together and I'm going to give you my my thoughts on this one so here it is you all Prada Paradox Paradox by Prada got a great great deal on this one I always love gift sets let me tell you why what I love about a certain gift set not just any gift set lotions are nice but I can always find a lotion an existing lotion in my stash of Bath and Body Works Goose Creek Victoria's Secret stash. I can always find a lotion. So I'm not wowed by a gift set with a lotion. If it comes and it's a great price, that's good. But what I love about this one is I get a travel spray. Love travel sprays. Love travel sprays. Why? Because I can travel with this one and I don't have to carry the big one. Don't you love that? If you love travel sprays in the gift set, comment down below. I love travel sprays because that saves me a lot of time, especially if I'm getting on a plane. Honey, I can just put, pop that thing in my makeup bag and I can keep it rolling. Easy peasy. Beautiful. Yes. And so I'm excited about this. We're not going to try the travel spray. We're going to try the big one. So let's see if I can get this out. <laughs> and we're going to play bongos here. Look at that gorgeous bottle. What I love about this, and I don't know if you're going to be able to get this, so I'm going to do it on my hand. Check that out. Check that out. It's on the, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say what I wanted to say, but it's on the lean, you all. It's on. It's hitting the scene on the, yes, it is, on the lean. You know, Prada, you all would be the ones to lean with it, rock with it. I love this bottle. I absolutely love this. It's beautiful. That triangular shape is just that Prada shape. I love this. It is so elegant, gorgeous, sophisticated. Just all of that Prada. Only Prada, right? This is beautiful. Look at the top with the Prada. At the top, the Prada here. Um, uh, it's just beautiful. I love the triangle. I love this. I think that's silver. Yes, that's a silver. Uh, I just love that. Ring around it. Hardware. I love nice colors. 
And so let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. I'm going to use my, my card. And we're going to try this once again. I think this is a one ounce, maybe 1.7. Uh, I didn't need the big one since I have a travel here. Nice sprayer. Don't know if you saw that or not. Huh. This is so pretty. So, yeah, it reminds me of a few, but it has its own DNA. It has its own DNA. Now, you would think that at first this may have a little tuberose, a bubble gummy, but there's something more to this that's coming out for me. Let's see. I'm going to read the notes on this one because it sure smells like it has orange blossom. Because at first it gives me the Coco Mademoiselle vibes just a bit. But then there is that kind of sweet, sweeter. Let's see what's in here. So it was launched in 2022. Like I said, I saw it last year when it was released. Um, the creators are, I'm not even trying to pronounce these names, but they're three creators, right? Two of them look like they're uh, related. And the other one doesn't seem to have the last same last name. Oh, pear. This has pear at the top and tangerine at the top. Bergamot. Definitely get the bergamot. Let me smell this one more time. The tangerine and the and the bergamot. I don't get the pear. Maybe I do. Maybe that's what's you know making it unique for me. The middle notes. Yes, yes. Orange blossom. Yes, orange blossom. I smelt that right away. This also has neroli essence and neroli, jasmine sambac, and then the base notes. Get this. Yes, yes. Bourbon vanilla. Let me tell you why. I can, I can layer this perfectly with Valentino Born and Roma. You all, it hit me. It just hit me. You can layer this with Valentino Born and Roma and be smelling like a beautiful somebody. That's it. Oh my gosh, you all. It has that bourbon vanilla, white musk, amber, and benzoin. Amber is definite. The florals in this are beautiful. The benzoin gives it that rounded out kind of base. And it is beautiful. You all, you hit this with some Valentina Born and Roma. You're done for the week. The weekend, you won't get out the house if your husband smells you, ladies. I'm telling you. My husband loves Valentino Born and Roma. In fact, my Valentino Born and Roma, I've had since maybe 2018, 2019, big old bottle, and I'm down to here. And the first thing I said this week to my husband, honey, you want to get me a birthday gift? You want to get me a Christmas gift? Get fill, fill me back up on my Valentino Born in Roma, one of my top five picks. It will be in my top five every single day. Time. Go back and watch my videos. You'll see some Valentino Born in Roma in some of those because it is a sexy light to me. It can go to the heavy, it can go to fall, but it's that just right fragrance that you can wear to work. You can wear um, to the to the gala. You can wear to a wedding. You can wear on date night. You can wear on a cruise. You can wear on the plane. It's just going to get compliments. It is an awesome compliment getter. And this Paradox. Oh my gosh. It's not Valentino Born Aroma though. Don't get it twisted. It is not. It is its own scent. And it is so, so beautiful with that orange blossom, that orange, that bergamot, and that uh, that bourbon vanilla. I'm getting it. That's what it... I'm telling you, this is its own fragrance. And it's so sexy. It's so girly. It's so, you can wear this to brunch. Now, can't you see you going out with your girls to brunch wearing this, honey? This with some nice heels. Come on, it's almost fall. You can get your high heel boots, honey. When it hits, when that fall hits, you all know when the minute they say it's going to be below 60 degrees, you all know we pull out the boots. So you can pull out your boots, your high heel black boots, honey. With your uh, your black outfit, whether it be a dress or a suit 
or just a vest and some beautiful black pants, honey, you slap on some paradox and you are, mm, that's all I'm going to say. You all, this is absolutely gorgeous. It is its own fragrance. It's standing by itself. I know what I can put on to amp it up. I'm trying to think of some other things that I can do with this one. I might try the Central Amber by Bath & Body Works. Might try that to see because this is an amber forward fragrance. So I might give that a try and see what that does. Let me see. Does this have vanilla? Yeah, bourbon vanilla, yeah. So I might try Lobby Bell. The only thing is I have Intense. So I might have to see what that does. Definitely Coco Chanel. Now that might be competing against each other. So I'm going to try that and see what see what I think. I'll let you know. Definitely could hit my Nestor, my Savelle Orange Nestor with this one. Even my Bonfire Bash. I could definitely because that's got that bourbon vanilla. So that would be perfect with this. And let me see. Oh. My Nestor Madagascar vanilla would be great with this. Don't think I would wear the uh, vanilla 28 with this one. I think that would be just a little too much. But yeah, my Madagascar oil by Nest, I think that would work great with this too. I'm going to give those a try. If you have Prada Paradox and you uh, have layered it, why don't you give me some comments about it? And if you haven't, Tell me what you think of this fragrance. This is just so nice. And I got, I think my husband got this for a really good deal. This is beautiful. Um, you know, it just takes, just takes some time. It just takes some time. Paradox, Prada, love it. On the lean. You all know I can't leave without some words of inspiration, right? So this word, and you may have heard me give the definition of this word before. If so, I'm just feeling it again today. Resilience. The capacity to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness. Wow. It reminds me of the Energizer Bunny. The Energizer Bunny keeps going and going. You all know the rest. It also reminds me of, you remember, if you've ever been to, um, no, when you were little, um, I'm probably dating myself, it used to be like this blow-up doll and this little blow-up man, and we would punch him, and he would like go back when you punched him, and then by the time you turned around, he popped back up. That's what resilience is like. You can knock me down, but I'm going to get back up. Toughness. The ability or the capacity to just withstand or to recover quickly from a difficulty. That's the definition. I am encouraging and inspiring all of you and myself today to remain resilient. Be able to overcome toughness. There's a scripture that I love. It says, overcome toughness as a good soldier. Now, if any of you are in the military, my hat's off to you. I salute you. Thank you for all that you do. Um, thank you for your service and even your family service. You all know about the ability to bounce back, the ability to have that grit, the ability to withstand toughness as good soldiers. That's what that scripture says. Hey, if you're going to go through some difficulties, don't whine about it. Don't complain about it. Don't stay down. Get yourself up and brush yourself off and keep it going. There's a, a movie we love. My husband loves this quote from this guy on the movie. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving is what it means. Don't stand there. Don't wait around. Don't sulk. Don't be sad. Don't complain. Don't whine. Don't cry. Get up. Brush yourself off and keep it moving. I'm telling you, difficulty is going to come. But it's what you do when you get into those difficulties that's going to dictate the rest of your life. If you sit there and you mope and you complain and you whine and you cry about it, you'll never reach your promise. You'll never reach your promised land. You'll never reach your goal. I'm telling you, be a resilient soldier. 
Be resilient. Be strong enough. And I know you're saying, Leslie, Suzette, I'm just, that's just not my personality. I'm just not strong. I don't think I can make it through this one. Let me tell you something. You can make it through. Brush yourself off. Shake it off and keep it pushing. Keep it moving. This is Leslie Suzette. All things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. One goal, that is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves. Yes, both inside and out. I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking this channel. I am on the road to 500. You all, I need your support. I appreciate every last one of you for getting on there and hitting the subscribe, subscribe button. I am so grateful. Thank you for liking this channel. All I want to do is share the things I love. I love fragrances. I love beauty products. I love talking about taking care of yourself. So I appreciate you for liking the channel and for sharing. Hit that share button. Share it with your family and your friends. And guess what? There's this thing called the bell, the notification bell. Go ahead and hit it because that way you'll know when Leslie Suzette is on with some great content. Until next time, be blessed.